This is the Asus ROG Destrier chair, and I love this chair. It is so surprisingly good. It's got these crazy aesthetics that I thought was gonna be so cheesy, but man, it feels really, really, really good. And here's how you know I'm telling the truth. I probably will make very little, if at all, money from this video. Why? Because there is no affiliate link, right? As far as I know, there's nowhere you can purchase this. Story time. I tried buying this from ASUS's website about seven times, I think. Every single time my order got canceled. I thought maybe it's because they recognized my email, so I asked someone else to purchase it for me. Same thing, their order got canceled three or four times. Then I saw it pop up on Walmart a few months later. I tried ordering it from Walmart's online store, and I kid you not, I think two or three times, Walmart every single time said, this is a fraudulent purchase, we're canceling your account. I was like, what? What is happening? Why is this impossible to buy? Then I saw it pop up on Amazon and it said one left. So I picked it up on Amazon and then it said order delayed. I was like, here we go, it's gonna get canceled again. But surprisingly, two weeks later, it showed up. And now you can't find it on Amazon. So I have no idea how you're gonna buy this chair, but if you have the opportunity to and the cash, it's, I think it's phenomenal, okay? Let me try to break down why. All right, just quick overall points for why I love it. The chair, the mesh on this, is great. It's very supportive, it's really taut, it's nice and wide, and it's designed flat, so in such a way that it still feels supportive when you sit, but you can really open those legs up and not feel super duper hard edges on the sides. Ton of space inside the chair. Then when you pull out the chair itself, so many even crazy expensive chairs, especially mesh, when you go all the way back, you feel a hard edge, not at all all the case on this chair. The entire seat is usable when you extend it out. <laughs> Seriously, like I'm like, wow, I can't believe this is happening. It's phenomenal. The lumbar is incredible. You can get it to go low and aggressive all the way down to your coccyx area, and it can come as far up to that middle back, and you can get it to be really aggressive. It's got a nice padding back there. It can be really aggressive or not aggressive at all. The backrest design is phenomenal. I can. I get a ton of room inside this chair. I'm not blocked by anything, no hard bolsters or anything like that. The headrest is okay, it's just okay, but I found ways that you can adjust it into perfect positions if you really wanna use it. And yeah, it's just really, feels really, 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 really good. This video is sponsored by nobody. Uh, a lot of companies reach out trying to sponsor my videos, but they're all shady companies that I don't want to put on you guys, right? I wanna keep it honest here. So if you guys wanna buy me a beer, you guys wanna donate to the channel, I'll leave my PayPal link down below. And if any of my affiliate links work for this chair, if this chair ever becomes in stock, please use them. It really helps a lot, but please try to avoid using Honey or Rakuten or clicking those Rakuten or Honey links because they will then steal my sale and I get nothing. So. Uh, I know I'm asking a lot, uh, doing that really helps this channel and if you do that, I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, let's break down from the bottom, working our way up. We're gonna try this in one take, okay guys? So, the casters. I was worried, the casters are big boys, right? I thought this chair was gonna be really high up, especially because the legs are also angled really high as well. Surprisingly, I'm five foot six and I'm able to sit in the chair perfectly fine. The casters roll beautifully on carpet and the legs are kind of thin and tucked back so they're not really for people who like to put your legs up. It's not gonna work well for you. Now, when it comes to the features under the chair, let's start from the right side. And all the, all the tabs and adjustments, you can never miss them because they've got this really obnoxious like tag, fabric tag here that tells you in big letters what it is. So on the right side, you've got the height lever. And so if you click that, it's gonna raise your chair up and down. Beautifully smooth movement. Like I don't, I don't know why I'm making such a big deal, but man, it feels so nice. And then right here on the bottom, you've got this lever and you can turn it to tighten the back tilt, right? So if you want it to be harder to tilt back in your chair, you can pull it out so it's a little easier on the wrist and you can turn it righty to make it tighter and lefty to make it looser or easier to tilt back in the chair. Then over here on the left side, again, you've got these two really obnoxious tags here. This is really funny. So this one says tilt, but it's like till T because there's a huge gap between till and then T, I don't know why. But this tilt is basically gonna allow you to tilt back in your chair, and it works really nicely because it's just up, right? Down is to unlock, up is to lock. Nothing to like click or anything like that. So really easy to use. What it does is it allows you to tilt back, and if you pull it, it'll lock your chair. Now it's not infinite lock. You get, I think, four positions. So you get the upright position, then you've got 
one that's a little further back here, and then you've got one that's a little further back here, and then you've got all the way back, and you really have to push all the way back in order to get that last tilt lock. So I love that you can lock it in place. Awesome. This is what the Henry Miller Bantam should have been. Like, seriously, this is a Bantam killer. It's so good. Okay, so then you unlock it, tilt back a little, and then you come back up. Then the other tab here is gonna be your seat depth adjustment. And what this does is if you pull it and then you pull those, oh, it's already out. If you pull those hips out, then the seat depth is gonna come out. And all you have to do is lift it and it'll just slam itself back in. So if you lift it, you can just slide those hips out. The seat, I talked about this, you know, a couple seconds ago. The seat fabric, it's using more of like a fabric mesh rather than a plasticky mesh. So it feels good on the hands, doesn't feel tacky on the skin. And it's got a nice pad here so that you're not feeling any kind of like plastic digging into the front legs. But because of the nature that it's flat, not curved up like the Herman Miller Aeron, I can seriously open my legs up as much as I want and it feels pretty comfortable all around. Like I can open it up like this. Heck, I can even pull out this and I could even sit like this inside the chair. It's so roomy. There's a, man, so well done Asus. Like, wow, <laughs> I'm just like still shocked at how good this thing is, okay? So that's the seat in a nutshell. Yes, it does have hard edges on the side here, but I'm not feeling it. They did such a good job on it. The arms are interesting. The arms are probably one of the weaker points, including the headrest. The padding actually feels good. It's got a good amount of give. It's not the deepest, and the adjustments are really good. It's just harder to adjust than normal. So on the right side, I, I wish they just had bigger tabs or something, but it's got this like really narrow metal feeling piece. It doesn't feel comfortable on the fingers, but with that, you can adjust the height up and down. Look at this crazy adjustment. <laughs> like, look at this thing. Like, oh my God, like it goes from here. I wish it went a little lower, but it's okay. It's still pretty low. Here's my thigh. It kind of sits maybe an inch above that. And then it goes, all the way up to here. This is freaking right under my boob. Like it's crazy high, <laughs> right? So you get a, a huge height adjustment. Now here are the other things that it can do. You can push it forward and back. It's a little loose, right? It's really easy to do this. So if you're like doing something in your chair, it can be really like, that could be a little scary if you're like, like trying to, you know, sometimes when I lift myself in the chair, I kind of push it forward. It can get, it's a little loose, can be a little scary. The other adjustments are that it can swivel but this is where it's really hard to adjust. To swivel it, you have to push this lever on this inside here, and then here's the thing. You know, you know how I said you get like a ton of adjustment or adjustability? It can go full 360. So go there, go there, go there, and all the way back around. And what's cool is that, let's say these arms are too far out for you, and you got shorter arms or something, well you can turn it all the way around, like this, and then do it that way. So that way the armrest sits back more. I really like it, but again, it's kind of hard to like, you have to keep repositioning your hand in order to adjust it. A lot of adjustability, a little difficult to do. Pads feel nice though. All right, so now moving to the backrest. Again, using that same kind of fabric mesh feels really good, feels really supportive. It's mesh means it's gonna be breathable, but it's nice and plush, like it's a little thick, so you feel really supportive in it. And then again, just a ton of room, right? Nothing hitting those shoulder blades, just able to open those arms up feels fantastic. But the lumbar is seriously the star of the show here. It's part of what makes the chair feel so good. This lumbar, you've got two knobs here and you've got a pad. And then the most basic thing you can do is move it up and down. I can, I can grab onto the nubs here to move it up and down. It's gonna make it the easiest way, but I can push it all the way down. And then what you do is these handles here, you twist them kind of um, opposite of each other. So it feels a little bit more natural because you can imagine if you both had to turn it right, your hands would be, your wrists would be like this, but you, you either turn it like this or you turn it both like this. So in order to tighten, you're gonna turn it inwards and it'll really tighten, push that lumbar in. And then if you wanna loosen it, you pull it, you turn it outwards and it'll loosen that lumbar up. And again, it goes as low as to support that coccyx and especially if you turn it all the way in, you're gonna really feel it kind of push into there and it feels really good. It feels, it reminds me of the Aeron's um, lumbar support, their Posture Fit SL, the highest level, but it actually feels more supportive because one, there's thicker pad, and two, you can really get it to push in. One thing about the backrest, mine has a big scratch here. Now, it doesn't look like the mesh is gonna fray, but 
this is kind of where it sucks where it's like I don't the seller doesn't exist anymore and I don't know if I can claim warranty on this or get it replaced because who the hell sells it? Like, where do I get it from? So that is a con that you should consider. Moving up to the headrest plus this thing. This is supposed to be like a sound shield. I haven't tested that sound shield. I think it's a little gimmicky. Maybe it works, but at the same time, I don't use speakers. I only use headphones. So yeah, I can't tell you how well that worked, unfortunately. Um, I will say that the instructions for installing this piece is wrong, okay? So if you manage to get your hands on it, listen to me, not the instruction set. The instruction sheet tells you to install the headrest first and then the acoustic or whatever, this a, a sound panel or whatever, install that after. That is wrong. Do not do that. You will destroy your chair. Maybe not destroy, but you're gonna hurt your chair. You'll scratch it up. I did with mine because I tried following it. You're actually supposed to install this, the obnoxious panel first and then the headrest. Headrest is okay. It can move up and down. It can kind of go forward, but it's gonna do it in an arcing motion, and then the headrest itself can swivel. Uh, I can't fit as nicely into the curvature of my neck as I would like. And then the other con is that this thing moves way too easily up and down. Like it's nice that I can do it in the chair, but it's just way too easy to adjust while sitting. Uh, I wish it was a little harder to do, but okay. Now here's kind of pro tips when it comes to using the headrest. I typically use it, and I assume a lot of people typically use it while they're leaning back. And so the way that I'm gonna recommend that you use it is it's kind of counterintuitive. If you want to, hold on one second, I keep pushing the wrong one. If you want to use this in such a way where you're looking forward, you actually have to push it all the way down and then tilt it forward. And that allows you to look straight. Typically, I thought that you're supposed to keep it up, but then if you keep it up, it swivels way too easily too. So then there's no way that you can swivel it in a way that keeps you comfortable. Now, if you wanna look upwards, if your screens are up top or you're just trying to relax, then you're supposed to raise the headrest all the way up and then I swivel outwards and that way you're gonna be able to look a little bit more at an angle. So again, one more time, it's confusing. If you wanna look more straight, push it all the way down and forward and then that's gonna enable you to look a little bit more straight. If you wanna look a little bit more up at an angle, you turn it all the way up and tilt upwards and that's gonna allow you to look a little bit more upwards. In terms of height and weight limits for this chair, uh, I, I'm sure that they have a weight limit. I'll post that here in the description or you know somewhere on the screen. In terms of height, again, I am five foot six and I fit pretty much perfectly in this chair. In terms of seat depth, my legs are perfectly, you know, uh, it's got that two inch, whatever, um, in, you know, two inch finger, two inch in front of the chair. In terms of maximum height, I think this is gonna be generally for shorter folks, right? It's not gonna be like six foot three, six foot four. I think this is gonna fit a maximum of like maybe six foot one, and that's primarily because of the position of the headrest. I imagine that this headrest is going to go and maybe fit people that are about six foot one, six foot two, and that's kind of it. The chair doesn't even go all that high. At the maximum height, as you can see, my feet are just barely off the ground. So yeah, I don't think it's gonna have a huge top end for this chair. I'm gonna say probably five foot five, five foot six at the low end, six foot one, six foot two, maybe six foot three at the top end. Again, I can't believe I'm saying this about a chair that's so flashy, but I really like this chair and I recommend it. It's really, really good. I think I covered everything. If I missed anything, as always, leave the questions, comments down below. I do my best to read and answer all of them. Until next time, stay safe and as always, stay honest. Mm -hmm.